All right, so I just want to make the video. I wish I had a few months back after a two year lockdown in New Zealand, I'm finally traveling. So I did everything you need to travel, stay productive and be a content creator, photographer, filmmaker, for digital nomad, content creator. Yeah, I've gone from no travel to heaps of travel. So I did heaps of research online bought a bunch of things I want to stay productive so if you're a photographer filmmaker traveling kind of slow traveling so kind of heavy this this video is for you so you don't forget something so you, you don't run out of power or you can't be productive or you pack too heavy not light enough this is everything I've accumulated after watching I think every single tech bag packing traveling long-term traveling video on YouTube so this is the video I wish I had for Bali for at least two months I feel like I can be super productive because I film a course all the time I feel like I can film just like I was at home and I just know I don't want that low level anxiety of the quality dropping so I don't feel like creating or just always thinking oh when I get home when I have a better setup or a slightly better audio another time recording course content I want to feel like I am putting the best stuff out there so the first thing is going to be charging so you want a hundred watt charger so this the top one here is a hundred watts I'll link everything in their names down below yeah so this is half the size of my MacBook charger and it, and it charges things really quick and then you get whatever adapter and you put it on top and then I've got this one adaptive for any country really impressed with the quality of this one actually can change everything and then four ports on the bottom and yeah and this actually can plug into the back of this one so in terms of power bank so staying powered is big deal so we've got the iPhone 13 max so nice big phone with good power you want a reliable phone so this is a MagSafe and this will charge your phone twice so this is really convenient if you are going to a cafe or something I actually did a trick where I put my rubber band under my case and over top of this which held it there. I'll just unplug it for a second. This is the one currently powering the camera at the moment. This is the biggest battery you can get while flying and smallest pretty much. So 98 watts. This is actually really nice. I really like this one. It will power my MacBook once. So yeah, biggest battery you can get. Small size though. The shape and feel and the ports are good so you can charge the ports go both ways as well glad I picked this one up and then make sure you, what I'm using now is a three meter long cable just to reach places in your hotel rooms I want to film stuff like this where I might not be right next to a power plug I use that all the time so I've been using the pro I think it's the pro tactic 450 really good really strong I fit 20 four kgs into this thing none of the straps are gonna break uh, it fits my laptop up the top and then pretty much all my camera gear which I might go deeper into soon and then I cable tied all these entrance points on the back because I only want to be able to open it from this part of the bag but this bag isn't gonna rip or break which is what I want the most out of a bag as for suitcase so this is the Ramoa so this is a second hand one um, the reason I got it is it's just about as good as a Pelican maybe not quite as good but pretty close and it has locks on it I can't fit all my camera gear into a lock box sometimes if it can go in here that's really good and yet yeah, super super strong rugged wheels which I really like they're basically like scooter wheels waterproof and this is actually a carry-on size I wanted a bigger one probably should have got a bigger one but I've actually quite liked the size for carrying around and stuff sort of forced me to pack light handle and this is super durable if I was in a situation where I had to put my stuff under the plane my camera gear would go in here and I would feel kind of safe that it's in there with the locks and with the being so sturdy all right so in my bags I have packing cubes so these are the peak design packing cubes really 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 like them perfect so I've got three of them one I use for cables and stuff one for like socks and underwear and then the other is for clothes but the other perfectly fits my MacBook in it so so when I go to a cafe or something, I actually use that as a laptop bag. Then I've got this waist belt thing because you're never going to have big enough pockets. So this holds a power bank sometimes, wallet, ear earphones, like three different cables. When I go to a cafe or something, camera I use, I need the power bank to 
be able to shoot with it. So with packing cubes, put everything in plastic bags, like separate everything so they're just more packing cubes and then see through plastic bags. Makes things way easier. Pick yourself up one of these. So this is one cord that will turn into any cord you need. So USB to lightning or to thunderbolt, thunderbolt or whatever it is, but it's got every combination because you can pop them out and then they pop into the back of each other. I've got another MagSafe for my phone, so another power bank here which discharges your phone half the size does. I have a Pelican case for my, I used to use like those lacy hard drives but they're too big. These are way smaller and you can get four terabytes. I think it's worth it. So got a few of these. So the lenses I went for, so I went for the 51.2, the 16.35 and then the 100 millimeter macro. So this obviously does the zoom and then it does the macro and it's super light. So that's a really helpful, really good lens. It's my probably my most used lens. So 16.35 and then the 50 sometimes and then, and then I've got the 20 mil 1.4 on the camera because I really love it for these sort of situations where it's the perfect focal length and it uh, really shallow and super super sharp laptop is a 2019 macbook pro not m1 and then the microphone sm7b instead of the cloud lifter get this thing it's much smaller than a cloud lifter very small cord to another small cord to this is actually very light so it's not too bad but this is a big setup i don't want to compromise recording average audio for course content i do a lot of tutorials so i just i didn't want to sacrifice the audio and then feel like my stuff might be dated or i just knew it would annoy me we have the mavic 3 for the drone but yeah drone is a hard one to i don't know could have left a drone behind i think okay so i've got four of these air tags i have one in my luggage have one in my camera bag so look these up online these will track your just on your phone and you can track it wherever it is super 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 helpful when you're not sure where your luggage is on a plane or uh, if you leave your bag in your hotel it will notify you that move, if that bag moves and stuff like that so these are super sick i have heaps of rubber bands and hair ties and polar pro drone variable indies uh, this is a good lav because it just goes straight into your macbook pro i can't remember what that is it's usb c or something yeah great quality lav if i didn't want i was gonna not go with the setup and just use this yeah always keep this just in case i don't want to use the big setup so on my laptop i got nord vpn so i can go into wi-fi's apparently it doesn't actually protect you that well but got one anyway and then change all your passwords make sure you do that just so that i don't get into your google account and stuff like that into your emails into your youtube channel into your instagram so i turned on two factor authorization for everything and what i wish i had was some good weather gear in case it got bad but i just don't have room right now two camera setup not sure if i need two cameras here and then the tripod that i'm currently filming on is the really good is the really Really good peak design uh, really small compact foldable uh, tripod highly recommend that it's pretty awesome so this is like a slow travel setup to be really productive and film hopefully high quality content i wouldn't survive hiking or anything like that but and then as for clothes just tons of black shirts good shorts with good pockets and then my other camera is the canon r5c that i'll do a review on I think my best purchases were the two chargers, these two chargers, and then maybe the, the two power banks. So, and then also the suitcase has been great. Gotta always be smelling good. Bluetooth Chanel. Gotten here is just my old iPhone 8, just in case something happens to current phone. And then what I've done is created media passes. So, this is just something I designed, it's just a business card really, and then I also made one just in case at the airport they try to put your bag under a plane. You whip this out, say it's media pass right here, 
big media pass title signature just make it look as professional as you can hopefully that gets you out of not putting your bag under under the plane and then also just say you've got lots of lithium batteries in your camera bag which you do picked up this old film pentax uh camera but i just wanted to shoot a bit of film uh, just get used to it it is definitely really nice to have a mouse if you're going to get one this one's awesome logitech any surface or something it's called yeah highly recommend. a super underrated thing is having a file like this clear for all your documents when you fly your tickets your passport your pen definitely keep one of these keeps everything nice but i think that's all i think the biggest win is really in that charging department if you can like get your cables down like have less cables try to make all your devices usb c i think this is but that's all because i watch honestly every video on youtube every tech bag gadget bag thing i could about traveling light tech and the light that is shining on me right now i'll grab it is this one i don't know what it is though didn't think i was going to use it but turns out i did so my situation is i wanted to stay really productive pack for at least like three four months and i had to be really sure i had everything because i'm i'm in bali now and if you don't have something it can be a real pain to probably buy it if you're missing something for your devices and uh, the microphone stand this is a road stand designed for vlogging i think but i turned it into a little stand and for this and it looks great super super light <clears throat> so the zion crane 2 i did not need two cameras but i just wasn't sure whether i was shooting mainly video or mainly photo i don't know i probably shouldn't have but it would have been sitting at home for a year if i didn't bring it so so yeah and then and then i've got a backup camera now the two cameras i have the r5c and the black magic 6k are two horrific cameras when it comes to battery so I actually can't even film two angles for this because I'd be running between batteries the whole time so yeah I think that's all I don't I just put my Lightroom catalog onto uh, an external hard drive and then I use Dropbox a lot to keep all my files online I was really hesitant about logging into Wi-Fi's in case I got hacked or something if you do the research about how to manage your passwords really well uh, you should be fine I just created a unique password for pretty much absolutely everything so you're, and then don't use your primary email for any Wi-Fi's and stuff like that and then Apple AirPods is my choice for headphones these are the noise cancellation ones which are 100 times better than the other ones back to lenses i wanted to take 35 millimeters so bad that that's my favorite but for some reason the adapter for my camera doesn't have autofocus so that's it guys for bali for at least two months i feel like i can be super productive because i film a course all the time i feel like i can film just like i was at home and i just know i don't want that low level anxiety of the quality dropping so i don't feel like creating or just always thinking oh when i get home when i have a better setup or a slightly better audio another time yeah i can have a really good setup traveling and if anything the video is cooler because we can travel and do cool setups and stuff like that recording course content which i do all the time i, I want to feel like i am putting the best stuff out there and that's it for this one and then i might randomly voice over some things i forgot